Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail, this is a haul video. Like, I like doing these because I love shopping. So, yeah, and I like showing you guys what I got. Hopefully, you guys can find the same things. Why does this happen every time? Let me go grab that one box. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> My bad, y'all. I do this every time. I think I have everything together, and then it's not. Okay, so I went to multiple places. I went to Burlington. I went to Ross, and I went to Marshall's. I went to Bath & Body Works. And where else did I go? And I went to Hobby Lobby. Y'all, I got to show y'all what I got. I didn't get a lot from Hobby Lobby, just a few things. I only went in there for a planner, and I got something completely different. Y'all, what? I am missing something. Still, one second. I'm back for real this time, guys. So sorry, y'all. Don't judge me. All right, let's get into it. I don't want to make this video too long. All right, let's start with Ross. First... Now, I'm going to start with Marshall. First, I went to, I don't know what day this was, but I randomly went into Marshall's. And this is more like self-care. I don't know. It's not a lot. But I'm going to show you guys anyway what I got. First, I got some Cetaphil. This is for my son. It's called the Gentle Clear um, Cl Clarify Acne Cream Cleanser. It works. Um, So, I found it, and it was only $4.99 there. So, I got this there. Um, I got this orange purse. Guys, I know it's not pink, but guys, I wear other colors other than pink, and I like to color block. Like, I feel like this, these two colors go cute together. I have, like, this a real pretty top that has, like, orange, pink, and green in it, and I was like, oh, this will be cute, plus I got some orange, like, fuzzy, like, heels, so I think it'll be really cute. Um, this is a Juicy Couture bag, and I got this bag for $24.99. Um, I cannot wait to wear this, honestly. At first, I was thinking about using it as a work purse, but it's not really big enough. But it's big enough. It's just cute, and I like it. Okay, next, I got this called Dali. I think that's how you say it called Dali called Deli. well anyway I had this to try out somebody else was using it in their skincare routine and I had this um in my cart on Sephora to try out but it was so much cheaper when I went into um Marshall's now I'm not saying this is inexpensive this is a very expensive product but it has a very high quality high-end ingredient in it and I kind of did some research on it I used to actually take the ingredient that's in it um by pill uh i still do it helps to regulate my blood pressure so i'm not taking a whole bunch of um like blood pressure medications and the the thing in here the ingredient in here is called res resveratrol i'm probably not saying it right but this is called the resveratrol lift and resveratrol is what's found in grapes. It's actually really good. It's a high quality antioxidant. This is supposed to be better than retinol. And because I have had not so good experiences with retinol, I try to get things that have a retinol alter alternative like bakuchi oil or this. Um, Guys, don't ask me how, how I know this stuff. Like when I was younger, I had wanted to be an esthetician and I used to like, indulge in skincare i like had really really bad acne in high school so i started like researching to clear up my skin and y'all i had got my skin very clear but then when i got a little bit older like recently um maybe a year ago last summer i wanted to try out some new products and i actually got this product from the dermatologist it was the retinol stuff and guys my face did a purge so they said but it was so so bad so i had to really go back and start anew and i had all these black spots new pimples and in order for me to like calm my skin down i had to get back into my research i was following this dermatologist on youtube she's an african-american woman our skin is a little bit different and so because of the melanin the amount of melanin in it 
So I have to be careful what products I use. And so I started um, getting back into my research and learning and I found some alternatives and some products um, to actually clear my face back up. So I use black soap right now. I've, I used to use that. That was like my staple um, facial cleanser to keep my skin clear. And I used the Peace Out Dark Spot. That stuff is amazing. Y'all do not go grab all of the Peace Out Dark Spots. I be having a hard enough time finding that stuff. I have to go to Kohl's to get it. But the Peace Out, no, I'm just playing. Y'all get it if you need it because it works. The Peace Out Dark Spot Serum, it comes in like a teal green bottle. That stuff works like i got rid of almost all of those dark spots y'all i was so embarrassed i wore makeup the whole summer it was all on the side of my face um it was mainly on this side but it it, it went away i have like one or two spots which you can't see because i have my makeup but right now i'm i go outside with no makeup i i'm good now but at first y'all i was your girl was she was she was struggling anyway that was the sidebar back into the the video <laughs> so we're, this is the end at marshall i got a beauty blender this is a beauty blender color changing shade shifter y'all i love when i can find this brand inside of um marshall's because this is 20 dollars at sephora and at marshall's is 9.99 so i'm telling you right now y'all need to be checking out marshall's and y'all know if you do makeup you know that all beauty sponges and beauty blenders are not the same these sponges i prefer beauty blender the brand it's just something about the sponges i am not a makeup guru i will not pretend to be but i do know for me this is my go-to so when i can find it i i get it all right moving on y'all i'm so excited for the other thing i have i want to show you guys i went to bath and body works boom what did i get well i found i got this stuff this is the pink paradise dragon fruit and hibiscus this is like the dupe for the sol de janeiro brand and it smells exactly like number 62 exactly like it like i have the small number 62, y'all, in my purse. And it smells just like it. Like, I love this stuff. I just wish they made the bottle a little more pink. And it's like pink, but it look red. <coughs> y'all, I try, almost choked myself doing too much. Anyway, I got the scrub. I got the body wash. And I got the body cream. And y'all, let me tell y'all something. All of this was on sale for $4.93 a bottle. So I spent $19 and some change on all of this. So this should not be in here. But when I went to Ross with my girls, I got this. This is the Rose Rush Paris Hilton. I know it's like an older version. But it mixed really well with the... Um, Bath & Body Works has this um, body uh body wash like they have this scent called vanilla it's called rose vanilla latte and this layers well with it so i had to get it because um yeah it's about to be fall and i'm shift i'm gonna be changing my signature scent and i think i'm gonna do something light but like yeah this is the rose rush and it has like i don't know what notes is in here i think i read it was like vanilla and or like floral but anyways i know that it layers good with that um vanilla rose latte the rose vanilla latte and also this is cheap so 12.99 smell good for less come on ross dress for less raw smell good for less okay also when i went to ross i got this hello kitty and i got it look how cute it is because i want to revamp my room and y'all know I have that area over there with all the Hello Kitty stuff. So I was like, this will be cute to go over there with the Hello Kitty stuff. So yeah, that's why I got it. And it was this was $9.99. Did I tell y'all how much the Cardelli was? This was $34.99. $34 it's like, I think $89.99 at Sephora. 
But um, yeah, I got it at Ro uh, Marshalls for $39.99. What else did I get from Ross? I got this from Ross. It says God is good. And I got this because, y'all know I got enough journals, but I got this because I like the stickers. That's one, but it has divider tabs. So when I'm like planning out content and stuff, I plan on using this. Also, this is what I'm excited to show you guys. I think I don't want to show you this. I'm going to save the best for last. I'm going to save the best for last, y'all. I'm so excited about it. I hope I can get through this video. Let's go to Burlington. Let's do Burlington and then I'll go back to the last purchase. We almost done anyway. So I went to Burlington and look what I got. A new chair. I think this chair was, it was on clearance. Um, I think it was on clearance for like $40. It was on clearance for like 40 some dollars. Um, I would have to flip the chair up to see the price and I'm not doing all that. But I know it was on clearance. And I got a new chair, y'all. And I've been doing my nails. I've been saving money. So I was able to get the chair. I'm comfortable sitting down now so I could do my nails. Look. I'm going to show y'all my nail stuff and what I got, but not now. Because that's a whole different video. There's so much stuff I ordered off of Amazon. But I'll show you guys another time. Ugh, hair in my face. Look, Burlington. So, what did I get? A lot of this stuff is like room stuff. I got some lights. Because, I don't know if you guys remember, if you watch my old videos, I had a light right here. It said love. Well, one day, it fell and broke, so... I want to have more that pink aesthetic back in my room. So I got this. And this is supposed to be an ombre curtain light. This was $12.99. I don't think it's going to be wide enough. And honestly, I'm just now seeing that it's battery power. And I'm a, I like the USB powered stuff. I don't be having time to keep buying batteries. But we'll see how that goes. Um, I got this rug y'all i don't know if i told y'all but my dog has an obsession with my room and i had a really big pink rug and she came in here and she peed on it and i threw it away like it's it was too big like i could have shampooed it but yeah it was bad my y'all niece is bad so i have to make sure i keep my door closed i'm gonna show you her one day show y'all her one day she is prissy and she is bad. Her name is Mercedes. She is a chippin. I'm going to show you guys her one day. And she, she does not like to be on the camera. So, yeah. But anyway, I got this little rug. And I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. It's not the color pink that I wanted. But it's still pretty. Um, This was $12.99 at Burlington. What else did I get? I got some handbags. Guys, this is like my favorite one out of the, the bunch. Um, I got this. This was $24.99. It is a very pale, like chalky pink color. I just think it's so cute. Um, I honestly am obsessed with the shape of this. If I can find one of these in a Barbie pink, I will be so happy. Or even, y'all know the Heritage one, the the velvet one, I really want that one. I can never seem to find it. I'm not going to say that because it's an affirmation, but I haven't found it yet. Hopefully, this fall, I'll find it. And I want to find it in this color pink. It's like this color, black and pink. It looks like the vintage um, Juicy Couture bags. Um, I also got this one. She's super cute. And... um. Yeah, it's the same color. This one was $17.99. And this one was $24.99. Which one is your favorite? Let me know in the comments. This is my favorite. This is cute, though. She cute. Um, And I got this to go with it. This is not the same style. Because I know that there is one that have puffy hearts on it. Just like those. But this was close enough. And this was all that I did see. If you look, it's like... um embossed but it's really cute and the color matches and this was $9.99 yeah I don't know I think it's adorable and that's it out of this bag 
we almost done y'all i gotta show y'all what i found at hobby lobby oh and i got this from burlington for the room and i know it doesn't it goes with the aesthetic because it's pink but it doesn't go with like everything but i like sneakers too y'all what back in college i was definitely a sneakerhead so i saw this and i was debating whether or not to get it but it got got so here we go it's really cute right and it's pink i just have to figure out where i'm gonna put it um yeah because i don't really got them i got some wall space in here y'all this wig keep catching my eyelash okay hobby lobby I went to Hobby Lobby and I got one of these. This is this was on sale for forty percent off, and I'm gonna be real with y'all. I honestly might take it back because I feel like it's cute, but it was seventeen dollars even with forty percent off, and I feel like I can find something a little bit more sturdier. Um, I actually bought this to take to work um because it's easy to wipe off and. Yeah, but I don't know. I like it, but I'm not, like, obsessed with it. Uh, What else did I get at Hobby Lobby? I got one of these to put over here. Right there, where the love sign was. Hopefully, I'll like this because this is battery powered. This was $8. Um, <clears throat> We shall see. This might go back, too. Who knows? I think I just was buying stuff on Impulse. Because they didn't have what I wanted. I wanted a um, planner. Like, I wanted one of these. Now, I know y'all like, why do you want another one if you got this one? This one got caught in the rain. I left it on a balcony one night because I was journaling. And it's no good. It's like, it's coming apart, basically. So, I was looking for something like this. And then the ones at Hobby Lobby, the rings are a little bit bigger. Um... Because, like, I have this one, but if you look on the inside, the rings are so tiny. And I like to plan, like, this is how I like my planners on the inside. Like, I make everything that goes in there. I like them thick and juicy, like some space in there. The only reason I don't, I know y'all like, well, why not use this one? Well, for one... This one is very old, but I want it pink. That's one. And number two, as much as I love how beautiful this planner is and it feels, the back is so floppy. And I like a firm planner, so if I'm not at a table and I'm using, like, my lap, I can write in it. If I use this in my lap, it's not easy to write in it. It just flops all around. So, um, there's that. Uh... I love a good planner, though. Um, yes, but I they didn't have what I was looking for, so I ended up getting all this other random stuff. And, guys, they had a whole Hello Kitty-like show when I went to Hobby Lobby. Some of the stuff I already had, but if you're looking for some Hello Kitty stuff, Hobby Lobby has a whole shelf. It's like Hello Kitty mugs, a cute little Hello Kitty piggy bank it's a lot but i did find this mug at hobby lobby guys like i found this mug for 8.99 and i was getting ready to complain like i could have got this cheaper at marshall's and then i went and looked at my hobby my marshall's cup and i spent 9.99 on that hello kitty cup just like this so it was cheaper at hobby lobby and y'all know how hobby lobby do where every other week they do the 40 to 50 percent off i don't know if they do it on this type of stuff but y'all keep a lookout because they might um i think that's all i got from hobby lobby last but not least da -da -da -da, my favorite thing out of all of this stuff y'all is this Look at it. It's a Barbie fridge. I got this from Ross for 30 <clears throat> 39.99. Now, since we are talking about Hobby Lobby, Hobby Lobby has a small 
smaller pink and golds because i was debating should i get the pink and gold one because my my home decor like outside of this room everything is navy blue and pink and gold so i was like should i get the pink and gold because i love gold but this one is a lot bigger and it was three dollars more the one at hobby lobby is 36.99 and I have a picture, so I'll put the picture up here somewhere. It's $36.99. I did not see it online. You might have to go check in your local Hobby Lobby. And it's a little bit smaller. I think it said it holds up to six cans. But this is actually a thermoelectric cooler beauty fridge. And it has compartments. And I honestly cannot wait to open it. Like, I'm so excited. Like, so excited, guys. Anyways, that is it for this haul guys that's all that's it for i'm finished finito thank you guys for watching thank you guys for subscribing thank you guys for all the beautiful loving kind comments that you leave i read them i try to respond to all of you guys i appreciate you guys so much and i love you guys bye